Here's the truth. Struggling with your mental health is not a personal failing or a choice you make. Mental illnesses are real and often misunderstood disorders that can affect how you feel, think, and behave. Mental health issues aren't something you can just snap out of. But with the right tools and support, you can have a wonderful life. So keep watching to learn five ways to help deal with mental health issues. Radical acceptance. Do you often pretend that your mental health struggles don't exist? Maybe you were convinced that if you deny their presence, your mental health problems will magically disappear. Unfortunately, that's not how it works. In fact, pretending that your mental health problems don't exist only makes them worse. If you're scared to face the reality of your mental health, it might be time to try a new strategy. Meet radical acceptance. Marsha Linehan, the creator of dialectical behavioral therapy, defines it as completely and totally accepting something from the depths of your soul with your heart and your mind. It's impossible to deal with something if you don't even acknowledge that it exists. But once you embrace the reality of your mental health, you can redirect that energy you are using to deny it, to support it. Connect. How many times have you mustered up the courage to open up about your mental health struggles only to be met with dismissive responses like, but you have so much to be thankful for, it could be worse, or have you tried yoga? When you hear these replies over and over again, it's only natural to want to stop talking about it. Most people just don't know what to say, but their ignorance is hurtful and can cause real harm. On the bright side, there are people who not only understand what living with mental health issues is like, but they've received training to learn how to help others. Seeking professional help is always a good idea. Peer support where you receive help from someone who has suffered from similar struggles can be a valuable resource as well. Another option is a support group where people who are facing similar challenges work together to support their healing. If you've had to do it alone, you don't have to continue doing it alone anymore. Medicine. Having to deal with your mental health can feel like a never ending battle, especially when there are so many barriers blocking your path to support. As actress Jennifer Lawrence says, it's just so bizarre in this world. If you have asthma, you take asthma medicine. If you have diabetes, you take diabetes medicine. But as soon as you have to take medication for your mind, there's a stigma behind it. It's confusing why there's such a double standard. But as psychotherapist, Dr. Daniel Amen explains, mental health is brain health and there shouldn't be a stigma. So if your doctor prescribes you medicine, it would make perfect sense as your brain might need it for support. You time. Does looking at your calendar overwhelm you? It can be so easy to prioritize anything but your mental health when you have many other commitments. When trying to juggle the endless tasks of life, it can feel impossible to take time out for yourself. But what if you put me time on your calendar and scheduled it, just like your dentist appointment? What if it held the same importance? It's all too common to tell yourself that you'll do the thing that makes you feel good later, but then later never comes. Not only that, but we're almost hardwired to feel guilty for taking rest. When society tells you that rest and play are lazy, therapist Jan Segal says, leisure time is a mental health necessity. Your calendar should hold time for your favorite things because it makes you feel good, and that's a good enough reason. Breath. What did the green grape say to the purple grape? Breathe. Sometimes you need a simple strategy and mindful breathing can be just that. It's really cool how breathing has been shown to alter your brain. MRI studies have found that breath control can increase activity in the cortical and subcortical structures in your brain, like your prefrontal cortex, thalamus, and hypothalamus, for example. This brain activity can then increase comfort, relaxation, pleasantness, and reduce symptoms of anxiety, depression, anger, and confusion according to Frontiers in Human Neuroscience. Mindful breathing is a tool you can keep in your pocket and take out whenever you need it, no matter where you are. Let's give it a try, shall we? You can inhale through your nose for three seconds. Hold your breath for two seconds. One, two, and exhale through your mouth for four seconds. There you go, you got it. Will you try out some of these tips? If so, which ones? Do you have a mental health strategy that we missed? 
let us know in the comments below. And as always, if you are struggling, please reach out to a mental health professional for support. Until next time, don't forget, you matter.